All right, let's talk about the Houston Texans here for a little bit. Look, this time of the year, every year on this channel, we take a deep dive at what each team does throughout the NFL draft and with their undrafted free agent signings as well to figure out which teams are making smart moves and great additions, especially day three moves or undrafted free agents that we think could be steals. And it looks like the Houston Texans have added an undrafted free agent that could be a massive weapon for this team going forward. Let's get into this article and we'll talk about it more in detail. On the other side, this is from the Sporting News and involving uh, former BYU linebacker Max Tooley. Tooley isn't your typical rookie as he'll turn 26 this year, is married, and has completed a full-time mission in London, England. Tooley has been at BYU since 2018 and played in 58 games. He's played in 12-plus games in four of the past five seasons. In 2023, he put up an impressive 92 tackles with five going for loss. The prior season, he picked off three passes and recorded two for touchdowns in only seven games. He's recorded an interception in five consecutive seasons. Tooley is fearless in the face of pulling offensive linemen and taking on their blocks. He delivers a punch. Whether playing press and coverage or meeting tight ends and offensive linemen in the trenches, he's also smart in coverage with fluid movement. All right, so I think Thule has the – if you look at his talent profile and what he brings to the table, he has, I think, the potential to be kind of an undrafted free agent steal for the Houston Texans. Myers, I'm curious what your thoughts are, are on Thule. But first, Texans fans – in the comments section below. Obviously, it wasn't as an exciting draft as the 2023 draft, but it still was a pretty solid round of picks for the Houston Texans. So in the comments section below, give us your favorite Houston Texans draft pick. I think there's a lot of really interesting ones you'd go with, but let us know. You can only pick one favorite Texans draft pick in the comments section below. But Myers, give me your thoughts on Thule and what he could potentially bring to this Texans team. Yeah, Nick, I think Thule is a really interesting player for the Texans. The Texans have their two guys at middle linebacker right now. But I think Thule has a way to work himself onto this roster and potentially get himself some playing time, whether it's on special teams, because we know linebackers are going to be valuable in the new kickoff format. We want guys with size and a little bit of speed. Thule, who ran a 4 4 8 40, I think that's going to get him on the field for special teams a lot. I think it's going to allow him to do some good stuff as well. But this is a guy who we see, in it. he's good in coverage, he's good at stopping the run. He's done everything pretty good as a linebacker. He's a good blitzer, a tackle-getting machine. This just seems like a guy who's a very well-rounded football player. And the other thing I like about a lot of these guys coming out of BYU is they're very, very mature. Obviously, he took two years off to go do the mission, comes back well-rested. He didn't, Those were two years. I know he's a little bit older. Those are two years where he didn't play any football. The body was resting. So it's a little bit different perspective you have to take with some of these guys that go on these missions. It's not, you know, the age isn't exactly what it seems. Also, this is a guy who's already married. You know, he's really got his head on straight. He knows what he's going for in life, and he's now made it onto an NFL roster, headed by a head coach who's an expert at the linebacker position and knows exactly what he is looking for. So when I hear D'Amico Ryans likes a guy and they end up bringing him in as undrafted free agent at the linebacker position, I see potential. When you look at Thule's numbers, I think he's very interesting. He's a guy that has been very good in pass coverage, as I said, uh, in one interception in each of the last five uh, seasons. He had two that he took back for a touchdown as well at times. But this is a guy who just makes plays on the field. So I think Thule coming in for the Texans is really interesting because he's got a lot of attributes. He's done a lot. We talk about this all the time. Sometimes you just got to see if a guy's been productive on the football field. And that is what Thule has done. I think Coach D'Amico Ryans has seen that in a guy like Max Thule. And I'm excited to see how this guy develops through training camp, through you know preseason, and see if he can work his way onto this Texans roster and start making plays for them. Well, and I agree with you. I think he's an exciting playmaker ba based on his time at BYU. And I do think it's part of a mind shift mind set shift, excuse me, that the Houston Texans are going through. And here's what I mean by this. Over the past couple of years prior to the 2023 season, Houston Texans were obviously not very good. They lacked talent. We're not making a serious run to the postseason. And when that happens, you can take risks and say, okay, maybe let's bring in a guy or two that's a character issue or maybe isn't mature just because we need more talent. We need to find a way to add more talent to this roster. But when you are in a championship window, which the Houston Texans with CJ Stroud, I think they proved it last year, they are in a championship window and will be as long as CJ Stroud's on his rookie contract, maybe even longer than that. 
you want to make sure your team's full of grown-ups. You don't want any character concerns. You don't want any drama, right? You want everybody focused on winning and getting better. Even if it's a special teams guy, even if it's a guy that may not even make the roster and just stick around through all the training camp, you don't want any distractions. The Pittsburgh Steelers, for a lot of those Ben Roethlisberger, Le'Veon Bell days, they were as talented as any team in football. I would argue they were the most talented team in the National Football League. They didn't win any titles during that run because they had a lot of distractions. The Philadelphia Eagles, the past two seasons, have had a lot of distractions. The Dallas Cowboys have had a lot of distractions. None, neither of those teams have won a title. The Kansas City Chiefs, outside of the Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift thing, which is kind of not really a locker room distraction, they're very clean cut. They're very quiet. They're all methodical, focused on winning. The Patriots dynasty was very similar. If you want to compete and win titles, which the Houston Texans have a serious opportunity to do so, so you need to make sure you have a locker room full of grown-ups, full of mature people, no distractions, everyone focused on football. And this is a guy in Thule who fits that to a T. Whether he makes the roster or not, which, by the way, I think he does. I think he's literally tailor-made with his size, speed, strength, and playmaking ability for the new special teams rules, the new kickoff rules, whether he's going to be blocking and covering kicks. I think he'll be doing both. But I think he will make the roster in that regard. But just his mindset and his demeanor and how he approaches life in the game of football, it's exactly what the Houston Texans need. And that's why I love this move from D'Amico Ryans, from Nick Casario, because it shows that they recognize they're in a title window and they're not going to take any unnecessary risks on some character concerns, whether it's a first round pick or an undrafted free agent. Everyone they're bringing into this team is going to be focused on one thing, and that's winning a championship. Data brokers sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, email, home address, health records, even your relatives. It's all out there. That's why we use Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows us which data brokers are selling our information and automatically submits opt-out requests for us. Cleaning up our information not only reduces the amount of that stupid spam we all get, but it also protects us from hackers who could use this information to help them access our social media accounts, bank accounts, and other sensitive information. Aura also does much more to protect us and our families from online threats. We also get features like antivirus protection, VPNs, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download several different apps. That's really key. One location, get all this great stuff. It's really easy to set up. And the best of all, we get everything at one affordable price. And you may already have one or two of these tools already, but not having Aura is like locking the front door and leaving the back door wide open. Aura is always on doing the hard work to keep you safe so you can focus on other tasks and have peace of mind. We value our privacy and we value yours. You can go to Aura.com slash Saturday to start your two-week free trial. Also, link below in the description. Again, Aura.com slash Saturday for your free two-week trial.